The Tiniest Woman. That is the nickname one Wichita has earned after spending nearly 60 days in an Andover hospital. As KSN's Alexis Padilla explains, her positivity is infectious. Her story on this week's Positive Connections. Jeff, it can be challenging to stay hopeful during a hospital visit, especially when battling an incurable disease. But as Marianne Reichenberger proves, a positive attitude can make a huge difference. You can look at me and think, she doesn't look that sick. But Marianne Richenberger is battling a rare disease. 92, um, I went to Mayo Clinic um, and they diagnosed me with lupus and scleroderma. The scleroderma is what my biggest health problem is. It has attacked my internal organs. With no cure. Basically, my stomach doesn't function well to where it won't digest. My esophagus doesn't work and have problems with my colon. Over the decades, Marianne has spent a lot of time in hospitals. Her latest visit to Kansas Medical Center in Andover lasted nearly two months. I think every single one of them knew me and was always checking on me. Four surgeries later. I can't say enough about this hospital. I have all the pictures of each and every nurse. They were all just fantastic. Just under 70 pounds, they called her the tiniest woman in the hospital. Mary Ann finally back home. Mostly I'm uh, in my bedroom, but I'm not going to show you my bedroom. <laughs> She's building up her strength to head back to the hospital for another surgery. Even then, she'll need IV nutrients at home. This is my machine that I will be on when they hook me back up 24-7. Uh, she was once told she'd have 10 years to live. That was back in 1992. So what's her motivation to stay upbeat through it all? These are my family. These are my grandkids up here. More time with them. I have four beautiful grandkids. One is 20 and one is 24. I want to live to see them get married. Uh, I mean, that's my dream. Despite life's hurdles, Marianne keeps pushing. I don't want to go anywhere yet. So uh, just being positive and being happy. I have no reason to be sad. With no plans to give up. Marianne is hopeful that she'll be able to build her strength enough to visit her daughter now living in California. She's never been strong enough to make the trip. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3. And we wish her well. Alexis, thank you. Still